The sound of the white word is the noise that it makes. So whatever noise your volcano would make is going to be your onomatopoeia. 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 In Cobb County, we feel very strongly that schools need to think outside the box in doing innovative practices that are going to really reach students. We were encouraged as leaders in the district to begin to implement innovative practices. The innovative practice that we selected at Powder Springs is arts integration. It was all about students and that was the drive. How can we reach the students? How can we engage our students? How can we make our students believe in themselves? The research tells us that students who are actively involved in the fine arts perform better in classes like math and science because it gets their brain thinking differently. So if you go into a classroom, what you're gonna see are students who are actively doing and applying their standards and their content to performances and to artistic efforts. In that classroom, they know that they're going to be asked to use all of their talents, not just one part of their brain. My daughter's educational experience has completely changed since I brought her over here to Powder Springs due to the arts integration being implemented here. At her previous school, she was having some issues with being able to focus, being able to stay still, and I just noticed that she wasn't very excited about going to school. So I chose to bring her here to Powder Springs Elementary and now on her way out of school I get nothing but happy faces. She is using her, the vocabulary words that she learns on a day-to-day -day basis. She just talks about how much fun school is. I have noticed a higher level of engagement in the students. It's exciting and encouraging to see students who are poor readers or struggling students to act out a story or create a math problem using art. They grow from feeling inadequate to feeling empowered. Full, now we're full. We're full. And what happens? The thunder starts. Boom. 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 The lightning starts. And then what happens? Our clock is so full. It starts to rain. It starts to rain. And what is our vocabulary word for rain? Precipitation. Does that help? Yes. Yes? All right. Back to your work. Good job, guys. It's a fun way for them to be able to learn their standards, yet it also fosters their critical thinking skills as well. Arts integration is not, it's not fluff. It, it's definitely higher order. We have to understand that the kids today learn different than we did when we were growing up. They need to be interactive. We see that all the time in the computer games and on television. And if you become more interactive, it, it helps them to learn better. In my class, we dance and um, do a lot of fun art projects. I like it, arts integration, because arts integration is fun, but you get to act things out. Now, and instead of just doing worksheets every morning. I like doing my work by singing, dancing, and art, because when we don't do it those ways, I, it's really boring. Before arts integration, to me, Powder Springs looked like a school full of cookie cutters and jello molds. Teachers felt confined and they felt they were stuck in a box. Many of the teachers tended to focus more on standards and meeting the standards instead of meeting the children's needs. A regular classroom where there a teacher standing in front of the classroom and just telling it to them, they don't have any association with it. It's just kind of there and then they forget about it. Bonjour, Miss Studies! How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, so you are going to be reading holes and then you are going to create a painting like Leonid Afremov, a landscape of what that character is thinking. Classe, classe. I love seeing those different levels. Destiny pointed out the facial expressions. We can tell this frozen statue down here is angry. Any other facial expressions you notice? The changes I've seen in other teachers because of arts integration is I've noticed that they're more communicative. They're just really eager and excited to be able to teach the lesson and the standards that they have to teach, but to bring in the arts. Our teachers are really on board with it. They're anxious to get into those 
um, arts integration trainings and immediately after they receive a training we see it implemented in their classroom so they enjoy it as much as kids do. I think a lot of people have the mindset that you have to be an actor or an actress or an artist, a dancer, a singer to be able to integrate the arts and that's not true. Arts now has been exceptionally supportive. They have strategically planned authentic professional learning experiences for our teachers. That has just been outstanding. And it's been professional learning experiences that they can easily implement into their classrooms. That's what teachers want. They want something that they can go to a training, they can receive it, and they can go back and use it in their classrooms. So our partnership with Arts Now has been fabulous. Success isn't just about a grade in a grade book or a score on a test. We really have an opportunity in an innovative model to look for different ways to define success. And that can include parent involvement and student attendance and engagement level as you walk through classrooms and you see students being able to articulate what and why they're doing what they're doing. That's really how you define success. And I'm a firm believer that the test scores and the grades will follow as well. But in this moment, the most important part is the culture of this school has really changed and to see parent nights with cars overflowing into the street because they want to be able to come here and see the great things their students are doing that's success and and being able to walk into a classroom that has a buzz of excitement and energy not just because it's almost recess time but because they're learning about their math standards through an artist's rendering that's what success is and I think it's really critical that we redefine success as we look at innovative models because it's not going to be what we've always looked at in the past. Our students are more engaged. Our teachers have made the comments that they enjoy teaching again. So arts integration has definitely been a positive change for Powder Springs Elementary. It's a way to empower students to be comfortable with themselves and their own individuality. You know, that's something that this generation needs is they need more confidence. They need the ability to express themselves and to think creatively and also to just enjoy school. If you're not happy, you're not enjoying what you're doing. And I think that's what I'd like someone to say about this school is that they, wow, they did something and they did it well and they tried and look what happened. They started something.